guys, it's Cash TV here. What's up? All right, so I'm about to walk you guys through the process of how I make my bentonite clay and apple cider vinegar mix. I love using the bentonite clay. It's amazing for cleansing the hair, moisturizing the hair, defining the hair. It actually gets in there, lifts the toxins and build up off your hair. And I'm pretty sure it can also do that on your scalp, but as you'll see, I decided not to use it on my scalp after doing it several times. But it's all natural, so you can't beat that. And it's just overall amazing for your hair and your skin. I've been using this as my shampoo for several weeks now, and I really, really learned a lot, and I've gotten the method down. So I'm super excited. I find this to be like the best way to cleanse my hair and to get that definition. like. The bentonite clay is amazing for definition. So I'm just gonna jump into what that process looks like. Okay, so what you'll need is bentonite clay. I get mine from Whole Foods, it's the Aztec brand bentonite clay. I got it for $6.99, which is an amazing deal. Next, you're gonna need um, apple cider vinegar. And I use the Bragg's brand. I get mine from Ralph's, but I'm sure you can get it at Whole Foods or your local supermarket. Just check to see if they have it there. And you'll also need a bowl and a wooden spoon, preferably. They say metal spoons can react to the ingredients, so metal spoons is a no-no. And I always make sure I have my Easy Cape ready. That thing is a lifesaver, as well as an extra towel to kind of lay on my lap so that if anything drips, I'm good. So what I basically do and what I find is enough for all this hair is I scoop out four big spoons of the Aztec mud powder and I put it into a bowl. Then I get the apple cider vinegar and I kind of just add the apple cider vinegar a little bit at a time. Now I've heard you can also use aloe vera leaf juice, but I haven't tried that yet. I've been using apple cider vinegar. What you will notice is that the apple cider vinegar reacts with the mud by bubbling up. Now at first I was like freaked out. I was like, is this supposed to do that? Should I put that in my hair? But it's completely fine. It's supposed to do that. So you're just gonna mix it together. Keep mixing and adding and mixing and adding until you get a nice smooth consistency. This is what mine's look like so far. So I found that apple cider vinegar works amazing as far as getting to the right consistency that I like. I use water alone. Like when I first got it, I just mixed it with water and it was so chunky and lumpy and I couldn't get it to smoothen out. So I'm loving the apple cider vinegar, but I do eventually want to try the aloe vera leaf juice. All right, so now that you have your mix together, I'm basically gonna pin my hair up into like five sections and then work on each section individually. All right, so as you can see, I'm taking down the section. I think in general, you want to apply it to wet hair. So um, I apply water to my hair until it's nice and soaked with water. Then I apply the mud to my hair and I kind of rake it through, detangling, make sure I cover you know, all the strands with the mud. And what I notice is that it really defines my hair. Like it makes my curls clump together and gives me some crazy definition while the mud is on there. It also makes detangling just super easy. So that's, I love that. So guys, as you can see in this video, I'm putting it close to my scalp, but the first couple of times that I added the mud wash to my scalp, it was hard to get out. So even with shampoo and everything. So what I'm doing now is I'm just applying it like up to a certain point and then for my scalp, I just, I do an apple cider vinegar cleanse. So I'll just actually apply apple cider vinegar directly to my scalp and kind of moisturize it in. I don't put the mud on my scalp anymore because several times it was really hard for me to get it out. So as you can see in this, in this other clip, which is from another day, I'm actually applying the mud wash just like I usually do, but I'm not putting it on my scalp. All right, so I'm about to finish up the process on my whole entire head, and this is what it looks like. As you can see, I decided to apply it to my face. Might as well do a nice face mask to cleanse my skin as well. Of course, I rinsed my face off first, hopped in the shower. What I do is, when I'm rinsing it out, I just rinse it out with warm water, 
I actually just take down each section individually and rinse it out. I find that to be the easiest so that I make sure that each section is getting clean and you can actually see the mud rinsing out in the water. So I don't actually use shampoo to rinse out the mud. And I actually, I find it that my hair is much softer when I add conditioner. So I'm using the Trader Joe's Tea Tree Tingle Conditioner. I add that right afterwards and I let it sit for a couple minutes and then I rinse that out. And then I get out the shower and I basically jump right into the whole defining process. And that is pretty much the whole process. So this is a shot of my hair like right out the shower after the mud wash. As you can see, my hair is really defined in certain spots. I've noticed that the more I use the mud wash, the more definition I get with my wash and goes. So I think it's actually really great for definition and moisture. And that is how I cleanse my hair with the mud wash. I usually do it once a week or you know every time my hair needs to be washed and I find that if I don't put it on my scalp I don't have trouble getting it out so I just I don't have any trouble getting it off my ends so I find that's the best method for my hair and I've watched a lot of videos um, where people put the mud on their scalp and they don't have any problems getting it out but for me I don't know if it's the thickness of my hair but or maybe I put too much on my scalp, but I don't wanna to have to deal with that again. That wasn't fun. But yeah, guys, that is pretty much my tutorial. Hope you guys try it. Maybe even try with aloe vera leaf juice. I wanna try that next. And yeah, I find it to be awesome. It cleanses, conditions, defines. It's amazing. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Peace out.